Well, everyone's in for a real treat. I'm extremely funny. <laughs> My name's Mary Patterson Broom. Last name Broom. First name Mary Patterson. It's a double name, like Mary Elizabeth or Mary Catherine. People in the South think it's cute to name their daughter Mary in a second name that sounds like a last name. It's quite torturous as an adult, actually. But uh, I'm staying strong. I'm staying strong. Everyone's like, just drop it to two names for comedy. But it's Mary Patterson Broom, and I'm sticking with it. And I'm following the lead of other trailblazers in this industry, OK? <laughs> Brian Austin Green, <laughs> DJ Jazzy Jeff, <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Dora the Explorer. The list is really long. <laughs> it's too long to go on, guys. <laughs> and you know, with, with Mary Patterson being my name, with the way I look, everyone assumes I'm of Irish descent, but I'm actually not. And this really drunk guy in a bar last weekend kept arguing with me, insisting that I was Irish and I just didn't know it. Yeah, he was like, are you sure you're not Irish? I mean, your hair is all red and frizzy and your face is all flushed. You even talk out the side of your mouth like this. And I was like, so you're saying I'm attractive. What's up? What's up this? Irish? Oh, goodness. You know, the last time I flew home, I got stuck next to this talker on an airplane. You know when you get stuck next to a talker, you have to get into like what you do and where you're going. And I told him I'd do stand up and he goes, you know, you ought to do jokes about red hair. And I wanted to say, yeah, red hair's a funny premise. <laughs> As opposed to one about a strange middle-aged man flying across the country to attend a seashell convention in Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> red hair's a trip, sir. That's right, I'm from Alabama. Cue jokes about guns, fat people, and Walmart. No, I love where I'm from, and I hate how everybody makes fun of it and assumes that all trashy people and rednecks reside in the South. Guys, I'm here to tell you, Western states aren't exempt, okay? Have you been to Fresno? <laughs> Santa Clarita Valley, anybody? The entire state of New Mexico? I, um, I was talking to my dad back in Alabama tonight, and he gave me the same lecture he always gives me, that I need to be going to church every Sunday in Los Angeles. Not because he's worried about the status of my soul in the afterlife, but because he thinks it's good for networking. <laughs> I'm serious, he's this really conservative Southern lawyer and he's like, you need to be going to that Episcopal church every Sunday. You never know who you might meet that could give you a leg up in the entertainment business. <laughs> I know, right? Finally, I was like, all right, Dad, I'm gonna go, but I'm, I'm just gonna pray the church turns into a synagogue. <laughs> Jews run the business. I'm so edgy, I am so edgy. <laughs>